Hello boys and girls and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host Shenra and we're playing Europe Universalist 3 Divine Wind Death and Taxes as Shia or China, I guess. We've changed our national identity. We now accept a whole lot of different cultures as being Chinese rather than just Shia. Uh, so it's it's only been what a couple months game time. And what I've done is I've moved one of our fleets down here to Mataram, and I'm bringing one of our Japanese armies down to Makassar, because we can handle more troops there. We can handle a second army in Makassar. So, might as well. And we're just waiting for our infamy limit to fall, and we're watching shit go on. We're watching <laughs> Lithuania and Russia still be at war. We're watching Austria and Brandenburg kind of trade punches, but they don't border each other, so it's not a real war yet. If they get any kind of border, or if they get access through Bohemia or something, then that'll be a real war. But for now, it's just kind of fake war. Like Austria is invading Transylvania, which is a vassal of Brandenburg. That's pretty much all that's happening. And Brandenburg has invaded uh, Latvia up here, which is an Austrian province. So, eh, whatever. Derp, 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 derp. Alright, we've arrived in Makassar call you uh, first transport. You guys, two separate armies, that's great. Don't have any leaders for you. First attack. Second transports. I don't know why I'm doing this, it's just something to do. Uh, Great, trade range has gone up, and efficiency has increased by 1%, which affects us not very much. But it went from 73 to 74. But we still get the vast majority of our money from production, so I don't care. Third, transports. Fourth, transports. Oh, we didn't even kill them. They are running to Higgin, of course. So go that way first, then go back to Haichi. How long do we have to wait before we can in integrate these guys? 1709. Alright, it's not that bad. Just get one of the t one of Build something. Cool. Let's see, what can we build? Who's got revolt risk? 10% in Brunei. Uh, I forget which buildings do revolt risk. Is it government buildings? Let me take a look. Stability. Revolt risk minus two. I guess it's just that one building, the courthouse. No, these don't help. Oh, we'll, we'll do that route. Go ahead. Just have to remember to keep doing the, those thingies. Those revolts are a problem. Well, not really. What's the biggest revolt risk? 10%. Not that bad. And that's based on our war exhaustion, which is dropping. Come on, kill the pesky rebels. Bam, bam, bam. Dude, you have guns. They have swords. Just kill them. There you go. There you go. And they're dead. Yay! And Lithuania finally took one of these provinces that would link up their lands. And they haven't started sieging this one yet, although they should. They do have a core on it. How did this war start anyway? What is this? Show me the ledger. Uh... Russian-Lithuanian imperialist war. Alright, so Lithuania should be able to take quite a bit of land for very low infamy. Uh, where's their infamy? Honorable. They have, no, they have no infamy at all, so they can take ten provinces if they want and still be under their limit, so that would be cool. In fact, 
We have a cores on Russian lands. <laughs> we could potentially go over here and grab this gold province, you know, just for free. Oh, we have great relations. Well, maybe we shouldn't have great relations. <laughs> maybe we should get allied with Lithuania. Hmm. We're at minus 200 right now. No. Hey, government tech goes up. Yay. Losing Kazus bellies against Ostrakhan. Yeah, but I didn't really want that anyway. That's what she said. They keep sending spies over to give us revolts in random places, but doesn't really bother us in the slightest. One thing I do want to keep tabs on is uh, Majapahit's navy. Wow, we're way behind the naval tech. We're doing pretty good in land, though. Uh, where do we see their navy? There we go. Show me Majapai. Oh, we have the biggest navy. It's just because of 87 transports, though. <laughs> where it's Majapahit. 30 ships, and they're all big ships. That's okay. I'm pretty sure our, our uh, galleys can destroy their big ships. Not the transports. Where's our galleys? Here we go. Venetian war galley. 27 cannons, 17 hull, and 14 speed. What's their navy like? Oh, they have naval 43. Ouch. Oh, we have naval 45. Oh, never mind then. And a big ship would do what? Twenty five, twelve, and twelve versus seventeen, twenty seven, and fourteen. Yeah, I like the light ships better. They're much cheaper. I mean they're not light ships, they're galleys. They're much cheaper. Uh they just they they hit a they they have a smaller hull, so they take less damage before they die, but they have twice the cannons. More than twice, and they're faster, so yeah, they're better. And Aragon just lost some lands over here to Castile. Oh well. Oh, we can build some more. Okay, what's this? Province decisions. No, I'm not going to worry about province decisions. Let's do. Oh, you're doing the embassy? Oh, it just finished. Which means we need. Oh, you're still building. Okay, then do this one. We'll work on it. Probably need better walls in all these places as well. Well, level two's not bad. Oh yeah, we need better walls down here as well. Because if anyone sieges us down here in uh, New Zealand, it's going to be a long time before we can get our armies down here to help defend the place. Because we don't have any armies just standing around here. And there's no point, because it would just take too long to get back here if we needed the armies up here. That's the whole idea of a colony, is it's really far away. <laughs> Production efficiency went up. That's nice. Even more dollars. Oh yeah. Nice. And our infamy is happily, happily going down. But since there's nothing exciting going on right now, we're just going to pause the recording, and we'll come back if something happens. Oh, well. I guess this is a bit of a an awesome awesome thing we did manage to convert another one of the jerkin provinces still have a couple to go one, two, three, four total and then we can start working on japan itself that's going to be a long time and then we can eventually start worrying about this stuff down here but for now one province at a time is fine our natural scientist died so we uh, invested in a missionary dude a theologian He'll give us a little bit more missionaries every year and increase their chances of being successful. So, why not? Also, we discovered Demac, this territory, and it's its own country. How about that? And since they're so far behind us in technology, uh, we have a tribal conquest on them. So, we could annex them for a total of four infamy eventually. But for now, we're just going to ignore them because they're small and puny. What do they have there? Grain. And they have grain. That, yeah. 
screen's not really high on my Linux England. Not sure uh, how that's going to work out, but it looks like, oh yeah, England's getting invaded by Burgundy right now. So, yeah, Nor Norway should be able to get whatever they want out of that. All right, see you guys in a bit. Huh, all right. So Burgundy pieced out England. Uh, they took all this stuff right here in New England. All right. Poor England. That's their homeland now, you know? They moved their capital over here somewhere. Well, obviously. I mean, it's not like they're going to have their capital in Gloucestershire or whatever the fuck it's pronounced. But, whatever. Oh, people keep getting revolts sponsored in Makassar and Brunei and, and Yakesa and Helio Jiang and whatever. We'll just keep putting this shit down. I actually had a crash at November 13th of this year, so thank goodness for autosaves, you know? Every six months, it's like having insurance. The curls, that's interesting. And you actually found 4,000 people out there. I didn't even know there were that many people out there. Uh, here, why don't you pick up these motherfuckers? And we'll take care of that. Okay. Anyway, we'll pause again and we'll be back when something happens. Huh. I don't think I've seen this before. Dali is on fire. That's our fucking capital. What the fuck happened? The Hikeshi worked hard, extinguished the fire with buckets of water and wet blankets, and tried to save as many houses as people and people as possible. Hurricane force winds made their work even harder, blew soot and black smoke into their eyes and lungs. After three days, the fire has died. A thousand lives were lost, but many more were saved. Wow, it was a thousand people in Delhi. Well, we have 360,000 more, so I guess it's not that bad. But still, damn. Yeah, a thousand people. Oh well. Pausing again. Well, the time is almost upon us to try to... Let's put it to four. To try to annex Imagawa over here. The only problems they have is Totomi. And uh, April 18th, we will give it a try. Oh, Bohemia and Austria are peace. Bohemia will see... P-R-Z-E-M-Y-S-L. There's not enough vowels in that word, but whatever. So they ceded this province, which is a Polish province. So of course they ceded it, because they're like, eh, it's Polish, we don't care. But the war is still raging between Russia and Lithuania. Um, ooh, Bohemia declared war on Poland. Interesting. Well, let me get this back up. Lithuania dishonored their alliance with Poland. Ooh. How are they doing against Russia? I mean, it looks like Russia might be at their... No, they're not at the capital yet. Yeah, it went down from 70-something to 50-something. So, Russia's back in the game now. That's interesting. Different. Interesting. I'm going to invest more in Japan. Like here, where they have a huge production value. And let's give this a shot. Yo, buddy. Come on, 18th. There we go. Maybe. And they said no. Damn it. Alright, we'll keep trying. And it's almost time to go to war with Majapahit again. Now they probably are just trying to recover from the last war. So they don't know that it's coming. But, you know, we got this Reconquest Causes Belly for Priangan. So we're just going to use that and go kick some teeth and, you know, take some, some more spices. The spice trade is just amazing. We, we can't ignore it, you know. Uh, send a gift. Get them back up to good relations. These autosaves take a long time. The recording actually pauses when the thing starts autosaving just because it knows it's going to take forever. 
or it thinks the game is being unresponsive, so it just stops recording. If I recorded the uh, area on the screen rather than recording the window, then you guys would notice how long it takes. There we go, right there. 417 production value. Hell yeah, prove that shit. We're making almost 500 bucks a year now. And that's with no treasury investment at all. None. And a huge army. Right at our limit. We could build more ships. And in fact, I think I will. If we get up to... Ooh, enables bark. Okay, what is a bark? Ooh, it's a light ship. So this is the first light ship in the game. And it's a smaller hull than the war galley. Less cannons than the war galley. And it's slower than the war galley. And it costs more. Okay, I guess we're sticking with war galleys. <laughs> uh... Guarantee their independence. And we'll try to annex them again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wars in Africa. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. At least our infamy's going down super quick. 2.5 every year. That's so nice. Now we can build another building. Just gotta find a nice place. Ooh, gold. Revolt and beat you. Or bitch you. I don't know how to pronounce it. There's no other good provinces to invest in over here. Well, iron would be good. Let's invest in the iron a little bit. But yeah, if we get up to about a thousand gold every year, I'll start building a lot of manufactories everywhere. And uh, those are really expensive buildings. And I'll build a, another navy of 50. Just like the guys we have right now. Aragon declared war on Greece. Burgundy already declared war on Greece. Greece only has one province, and Burgundy is sieging that one province. So why would Aragon even bother to declare war on them? I don't. So I have to see what we want there. We currently have Gallup Cavalry, which is one four four two three three. Oh, these are way better. We could go for four 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 four. Just all around good. Or we could go for some specialized in attack. Wait, these are specialized in defense. They have 5-4-3 defense, but their morale, de defensive morale sucks. These guys are all backwards. <laughs> that 5 morale should be down here, I think. Eh, whatever. Uh, we usually wind up attacking more of the time. So we'll just go with, I don't know, the all-arounder seems, seems fine. Let's just do the all-arounder. Fuck it. But we do wind up attacking most of the time. Hey, we have a Casas Belli on Atze. Really? Yeah, but it would still be uh, 8 Infamy to annex them because it's their capital. So, no thanks. But yeah, it's about that time for War with Majapahit. So let's get that going. Uh, you guys need some more cookies. We'll try one last time with these guys before we go to War with Majapahit. But then after that, it's... We're going to cut them off. Ooh, golden era for culture. Nice. Okay. Um, I probably won't need another army up here. I would definitely won't need another army over there. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll probably need it down here. Maybe. Ah, uh, whatever. Just, just come down here for now. We'll use you in a little bit. That's what she said. 
You guys are going to migrate over to Shinano. Ah, Kor and Okinawa. Very nice. Taking that province was huge, awesome, cool. We'll invest in it a little bit, sure. That's a transport navy, so probably just going to leave them docked. Burgundy annexed Greece, big surprise. How's your infamy anyway? Tarnished. Seven infamy. Yeah, they can... whatever. Papal state declared war on Mutapa. That's all going on down here. Wow, look at the Pope. <laughs> Pope's doing great down there. Alright, one last shot. They reject it. All right, we'll work on them later. So for now, let us celebrate war with Majapahit. Now, I don't really care who joins this. Hopefully the Ottomans won't, just because they do have... At least I think they have a decent navy. Oh yeah, Naval Tech 67. Uh, let's take a look at their naval size. Should be somewhere around here. The Ottomans. They have a big navy, but we have a bigger navy... And I'm pretty sure our galleys can handle their ships. I'm not guaranteeing that we can handle that. But I'm pretty sure we can. Mm, with this profit we're making every year, I'm tempted to just build another navy. Yeah, why not? So let's see. Where's our naval building facilities? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. We only have those three provinces with naval facilities. Well, poop. I should have done more. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three, four, five. That's 15. Uh, that's... 30. I still need 20 more ships. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. See, that's 1, 2, that's 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so that should be 50 ships. Let's get you guys on the boats. And we'll. So we have them up there. We'll move these guys down to about here. And they can kind of patrol all this. We're going to increase their size, their patrol size. So this should be okay, I think. And Japan should be okay. We'll move you over to Nagato. It's more of a central place. And let's get this war started. Let's see. Nepal, Hindustan. I'm not going to call anyone unless we have to. Uh, Hindustan's probably going to be our biggest ally, but they're also a threat to actually take stuff from Majapahit. I think we'll only call Hindustan if the Ottomans come over here and start being a pain in the ass. So let's just declare war. Reconquest. Alright, how about 40,000 guys right up your pooper? And let's get our navy out blocking them in. How big's their navy? 27 large ships. Yeah, let's go right over there in their face. Bring our other navy down as well. And let's break you guys up. I don't know. One cannon. Oh, yeah. Uh, Whatever. I can't be that picky. It's fine. 6,000 guys go over there. Four thousand guys go over there. I don't really care how many go each direction. I'm just three thousand guys go here, and seven thousand guys go here. Whatever. Just spread out. Uh, you guys can just invade all together. You guys. How big is their fort? Just level two, level one. Uh, we'll just send 20,000 over, and we'll put these guys on... Well, no, I don't want to get my transports out, because they'll just slaughter my transports. So, we'll get we'll bring our navy over here to the Java Sea before we actually do anything silly. Let's slow down time a bit. Alright, Korea Bay. 
Get on there. Oh, we can enact a decision. What is it? Western eyes. Oh man, this is a... We will change our group to Muslim. See, I'm not sure if we have to do this. Not sure if we have to do this at all. Because our tech, we are in the Chinese tech group, but we've westernized each individual tech, so I'm pretty sure we're training them at full speed. Yeah, it says research efficiency 100%. So I don't think we need to do this. Five years of horrible problems plus negative five stability. I'm just going to ignore it for now. I'll think about it. If anyone knows offhand, please please let me know. I know this is an old version of Death and Taxes, but I'm sure the Death and Taxes philosophy still applies. So the question is, does westernizing each individual tech, is that enough to be fully westernized? I think it is. To me, that is westernized. Because um, there's nothing uh, left here to do as far as our techs or our military. So I'm pretty sure that we've already pretty much done this. And this is just kind of a, a, a leftover option from all the other countries that have to westernize the normal way. Because all the Chinese miners, they westernize in a very specific way uh, through these individual techs. But if anyone else knows otherwise, if anyone knows if I have to do this to westernize, if I actually have to fully go through all that crap as well as the individual techs, which you've already done then I will just let me know. Anyway, back to the game. Trinacria declared war on Norway. Wow. Oh yeah, who joined against us, by the way? I forgot to even look at all this shit. Okay, the Ottomans did not join. So, we're at war with uh, just Mahabaji. Okay, good. So it's just them. They got no buddies. And we should be arriving in five days at their capital. Alright, this army is on the boats. Come on down. We will invade over here. Ah, uh, the navy is coming out. 16th of April. Hopefully we can get there before they get away. They're going to try to run that navy away, I'm sure. Okay, we arrived in their capital. There we go. Oh, we, we, st we didn't get commanders. God damn it, I forgot to get commanders. Uh, it, uh, do we have any? Yeah, we have three, and I'm not using them. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm an idiot. We'll get you out of there. I don't need you over there. Oh god. <laughs> oh, sometimes, Shen. Sometimes. Okay, where are you? You're in Korea Bay. All right, well, we'll bring you down. We're going to change your destination to the, this here because we need a commander down here, you know? Ooh, Celebar declared war on Majapahit. Oh, they're going to try to get this back. Whatever, that's fine. Actually, it's not fine. I kind of want to get that so that we'll start getting Kazus Bellies on Celebar. Yeah, I definitely want to get Siak. In fact, I should have taken it in the last war, and I don't know why I didn't. I'm kind of stupid. Uh, we're still winning, even without a commander. That's good. Straits of Johor. There we go. Get off the boat. I hope we can get off the boat quicker than they can get their army over there. Oh, man. It's a race. Alright, we've arrived in Posey and Boney. That's cool. Uh, 22nd of April and 24th. They're going to get away. So we have to get our... We're going to undock our transports right in their face. Oh, we're still going to be too slow. Damn, we suck. Well, I guess we can chase them a little bit. See where they go. They might be coming up to engage this navy. Which is fine. I don't really care. In fact, we will send you guys around this way. It's probably a little... Oh, it's not? Really? I would have thought this is faster, but apparently it's not. We'll go that way anyway, just so we can kind of encircle them and maybe catch them off guard. We'll see. Kind of sucks that they're actually able to get away from us, though. 
Oh yeah, we're slaughtering them in their capital here. I love it. Kill them all! Okay, where are they going? Sulu Sea. Oh man, please get to Siak. Please get to Siak. Alright, we killed 7,000 of them in their capital. We're gonna send you guys back here. You're running to Blam. Blang, 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 blang. Uh, we'll chase them with that army, and then we're going to put a general in the other army. And uh, I'll go kick some ass. Yeah. You guys can get on the boat now. Oh, yay, we got to Siak before uh, Syllabar did. Excellent. So we can just siege over there. And, uh, da, 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 da. we could go pick up another army. We probably only need one in Japan right now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go pick up this army from Japan. Wonder where their navy went. Ah, here they are. So they are trying to engage my transports. No, they're docking. They're docking in Saba. Okay, fantastic. We already have a navy going up there. So let's put both our navies over in Saba. And then when this province falls, it will spit their navy out into our navies. Everybody happy. Oh, and we've arrived in the Straits of Makassar, or whatever they're called, Java Sea. Persia declared war on Ostrakhan. Alright, our army has arrived in Mataram. Let's give him a fantastic general and move on. Just want to make sure we catch them with this army first. Oh. Oh, no, no, they didn't dock up. They came back out. Goddamn. Okay, then. Let's go get in their face. Oh, no bueno. And we're already damaged because these transports were going through uh, places that give you attrition. But we should be able to get both our navies out there and trounce them if our dudes can survive that long. No, our dudes might die. Yeah, all our ships got destroyed. God, that sucks. We lost a navy and an army. Not a navy. We lost a transport fleet and an army. 25th of May. 20 all right, we're going to catch them, so it's fine. It's just a pain in the butt. Do you have an admiral? No. Do you have an admiral? Yes. Okay, so we should be fine. So this is what happens. I'm so rusty right now. Let's build a new transport fleet over here. Actually, let's build it down here. Right here. Oh, wow, that takes a long time to build. Oh, well. It's not like we're lacking in transport ships. All right, there's 20 more. That's fine. Now we will catch them in a couple days here.